what is the answer to my question, do you think? Why are people in Russia reading about these things now? Is there a simple connection to what they are experiencing? Yeah, good morning, Michael. I, I, um, I think that what we're seeing here is Russian society being um, politicised. Now, that might not be a particularly controversial thing, but um, I think that there seems to be a, an information deficit within Russia, and this leads people to be dissatisfied with what they're being told, the, the, the narratives that they're being told, and then moving towards looking for alternative literature, Orwell being one example of it, and perhaps there's kind of echoes of the, of the Cold War and the Soviet era in terms of it being, it, it being banned there for, for, for that time. Uh, do you want to tell us um, some of the parts of the plot? Not everyone has read 1984. Uh, that might be relevant to Russians at the moment. I'm thinking about things like the Ministry of Truth and Newspeak. Just uh, give us a couple of moments on those, if you would, please. Yeah, I mean, I think um, broad brush strokes here. Um, 1984 is a, is a warning about the potential tyranny of governance and I appreciate that Orwell is focusing on, um, on on the Soviet Union, but he's he's making a general point about governance and the um, the, the potential for when government is not checked, not uh, interrogated enough, then it can become tyrannical. So he uh, um, you know, he, he talks about the idea of the Ministry of Defence, which is. Well, I guess you can you can make the comparison here to the idea of our Ministry of Defence, which spends quite a lot of its time being offensive. Um, you can also look at um, questions around foreign aid, whether that's actually foreign aid uh, or not, or perhaps there's more self-interest in that. Um, and you, you have to think of the context of this. He publishes it in 1949. And uh, this is only a few years after the war. He begins writing it to, towards the end of the war. And uh, we in the UK have just had the Ministry of um, in Information, which we might think is more uh, misinformation and disinformation as well. So it's a, it, it's a warning. And it's also a, um, an attempt to encourage people to be more politically and media literate. Um, how do you compare the taste of Russians at the moment in literature to the tastes of, let's say, the British and the Americans in literature? <laughs> um, well, I think this, this is a really interesting point. I think that um, when any society is engaged, you know, the, sort of, it, it's number one book in, in Russia um, at the moment. And most of the time when, if you look at our kind of bestsellers list, it's things like Fifty Shades of Grey, Harry Potter, etc. Now, of course, we have... Um, you know, some instances of politicised literature, I don't know, The Handmaid's Tale or uh, The Hunger Games or, you know, Stephen King's The Running Man back in the 80s. So there is an element of, of us having politicised literature. But what it really tells us is that Russians are, uh, Russia and Russians are a diverse society. They are interested in lots of different things. And I think our own propaganda over the yeah. last few years in the West has probably encouraged uh, us to believe Russians as being um, a, a bit more simplistic. Perhaps we are kind of moving in a particular zeitgeist and they're moving in another um, zeitgeist in, in, in some form or another. So there's things like a culture of, to of toxic masculinity, perhaps it's now overzealous nationalism going on there. But what it kind of confirms to us is that we are... Um, that, uh, that perhaps we, we should think again about how we perceive... Um, Russians. At the same time, though, you know, this is not some sort of anti-Putin. You know, Putin's going to sort of fall from power or anything like that. I mean, we're not. Um, th there's a big difference between reading political literature and you know going on the streets and you know with your anti-Putin placards, you know, honking your car horns, things like that.